The much anticipated K5 submarine launched cruise missile will start its trials in 2024, but its public disclosure might remain under wraps due to strategic considerations. After Maldives government officials got triggered due to Prime Minister Modi's visit to Lagswari Islands, the official websites of the Maldivian President's Office, Maldives Foreign Ministry, and Maldives Tourism Ministry were down for several hours due to a cyber attack. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will embark on a three-day visit to UK tomorrow, that will be the first visit by Indian Defence Minister to UK in 22 years, and it is significant as India is discussing joint development of 110 kN jet engine and hybrid electric propulsion system with Rolls-Royce. Ukraine has released pictures showing an unexploded Russian Kinzhal hypersonic missile, and its warhead appears to be in pristine condition, that would provide Ukrainian and NATO scientists with a golden opportunity to conduct a more in-depth examination of the materials, parts and electronic components involved. Indian firm DG Propulsion has successfully tested its DG J40 turbojet engine, that has a thrust capacity of 40 kg force, and this increased power output translates to greater range higher payload capacity and maneuverability for UAVs. Chinese president has removed a dozen high-ranking military officials, after revelation of widespread corruption inside China's rocket force, and extensive corruption throughout its defense industrial base. A large number of Chinese missiles were found filled with water instead of fuel, and even the missile silos in western China with lids, don't function in a way that would allow the missiles to launch effectively. The Indian Air Force conducted first ever night landing of a C-130J Super Hercules transport aircraft at the Kargil airstrip in the darkness at an altitude of over 8,800 feet. The Air Force employed rain masking techniques during the approach, which involved utilizing the natural contours of the mountains to shield the aircraft from enemy radar and infrared detection, further enhancing the mission's stealth and security. The Cargill night landing exercise was seamlessly integrated with a training mission for the Garud Special Forces Unit. The DRDO is all set to conduct additional testing of its naval anti-ship missile short range in 2024, and the upcoming tests are intended to push the limits of the missile, striving to meet the full spectrum of technical parameters, including achieving its maximum range of 55 km. This extended testing phase is crucial for ensuring that the missile performs optimally under various conditions, contributing to its reliability and effectiveness in real-world scenarios. Amid speculations, officials have said that India's Archer NG male UAV is not a licensed variant of the Israeli Heron Mark II. The Archer NG project leverages the expertise gained through the TAPIS program, and will utilize many existing TAPIS components, including its landing gear and front fuselage, but the wings and tail design will undergo significant modifications, incorporating a higher degree of composite materials for improved performance and payload capacity. The first flight is planned for mid-2024, and weapons testing by mid-2025. Today's top 3 comments.